everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma aka Fleurs and today we are working on my museum. I had a right palaver with my museum. I decided I wanted it one place and then two seconds later I was like no it can't go there I have to move it. So it cost me a lot of bells and a lot of time but I think I'm finally happy with it. As you can see it's very close to my harbour area. If you haven't seen that video go check it out. It will be in with my other videos. Um, I can put it in the description as well. So what I want to do with this area is a very kind of bold idea. Excuse me, I just need to sort out this rock situation that is not supposed to be there. Um, but anyway, yeah, so bold idea. I'm gonna turn my museum into an aquarium. Yeah, that might sound a bit out there, but I don't feel like the museum kind of fits. I guess it does, but I like the idea of having a aquarium in my coastal town. So basically, the inspiration for this, um, there's a town, or yeah, it's a town called Nuki, and there's a little sea life center there or aquarium right on the coast. So I kind of took inspiration from that. And as a child, I also went to Weymouth and they had a little sea life center there as well. So these little coastal towns do kind of have that sort of thing. So this is what I'm going for. And it's a bit different for me because I've never really done anything that's so uniformed and it's gonna be bizarre so we'll see how it goes as you can see I've started off by placing down some trees I've also hidden the red banners because I'm not gonna lie I'm not really a big fan of them so I've taken inspiration from Nicole who featured in my 10 museum entrance ideas video and I'll put her details in the description as well her museum entrance was beautiful in fact her whole island is beautiful but I really like the idea of using the wooden bookcases and then a simple panel and then the tree so this is where that inspiration has come from and it perfectly hides those red banners that we don't like so well I don't like anyway so that's where that's come from and it's a great idea if you want to replicate it I'm just going around planting these pansies because I don't really need them in my inventory so that's why I'm just dotting them around. I need to clear up some space just so that I can get some more items for doing the actual decorating. There we go. And I did expand out the plaza area. I realised I had a bit more space than I thought so that's why I've gone one tile out just so that I have a bit more space with my decorating and in the pipe we go to grab some items. So I'm gonna go in with these stools because I want to create that aquarium area. I think on one side I'm gonna have some aquarium like fish and then on the left side I'm gonna have a gift shop and I thought these octopuses, octopi even, were really cute so I thought that they would be a great focal point for the entrance way and of course a fountain as well. I've never ever used this fountain, well I didn't use it on Laura, I don't think I used it on my first island either so I'm being brave, I really am with this island, it's pushing me out of my comfort zone. just trying to decide how best to fit into more stools or more tables. I thought about adding a third one, it just, I couldn't get it to work unfortunately. I'm absolutely in love with this stool design, it is so cute. Any stool design with the ruffles on the overhang, I'm totally here for it, I absolutely love them. And I thought the fish wand would be a great place to, um, would be a great thing to have in the gift shops. And I really wanted to use these balloons as well, <laughs> just because they're blue and they look really cute when they're blowing in the wind. And also I kind of had the idea that when a kid, maybe when a kid visits a aquarium, they can get a fish balloon or something. I tried the park clock, it didn't quite work. So that didn't stick around very long. And 
then I thought about using these rattan tables. You'll see why it didn't work later. I was really upset when it didn't work the way that I imagined it, but we may do with it. I'm really going to town with the rope fencing in this area because I've suddenly decided that I absolutely love it and I think it fits with the museum kind of build. Because it was looking so grey, I just dig dug out these two holes and put in some bushes just to add some greenery. I'm definitely not used to all the paving, it's not for me at all. So this is what I was talking about. I didn't realise you can't put the big aquariums on top of tables. I was so upset, I thought it would have looked great on those little tables, plus I spent ages getting them so I was a bit disappointed by that. But you learn and we won't be doing that again. I'm trying to incorporate some more fish but I've decided it didn't really need it and I'm, I mentioned it in another video about the less is sometimes more so that's what I'm going with. I'm just going to leave it at that for the fish area and then I'm going to put one in over here just so it kind of is a bit symmetrical. Obviously they're different fish, well one's a crab, but um, I thought it would be nice just to have that bit of symmetry. try to incorporate the Pisces lamp. I don't know what it was about it, whether it was the gold that was throwing me off. Um, it's not generally a colour that looks great with these kind of this kind of colour palette that I have, so maybe that was what the issue was. Just pop back and grab some more items. Some benches, I thought that they were really important. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> I decided to go with the garden benches in white because I thought that they were most fitting for this area. And then just putting some items on top of my gift shop area, as I'm going to call it. I've never really, apart from in my library, I've never really used the pop-up books, but I thought it looked great with the shark sticking out of the book. Really fits in with that fishy theme. I also decided to make use of the goldfish that I had from the bug, Unique Bug Containers video. And I tried to use the floating bio planters, but I don't know whether it was because they're a slightly different colour to the goldfish ones, they just didn't quite work for me. Oh, <laughs> there was Eric getting startled, looking adorable as ever. Yeah, I'm sorry, I still haven't figured out the whole putting the custom designs down. I just need to do it one day and just really get the hang of it. about tables it didn't look quite right I'm gonna go make some more garden benches so here we are we're back as if by magic and there we go although I don't know whether it's just me maybe they should face the other way I think in the end they did look better rotated backwards but I left the one in the middle facing out facing forwards even just so that there was a bit of different something make it a bit more interesting. So for this area over here, I want to make a little picnic area because what's better than after a day at the aquarium than having a picnic outside in the sun? I know it's not sunny on my island at the minute. I just seem to be getting a lot of rain. All I've had through, I've been time traveling a lot because of moving um, houses and stuff, has been rain. It's been very very grim and that's sad i'm sorry i need um a fruit <laughs> uh, excuse my weed problem i'm procrastinating about gardening by gardening i mean removing excess flowers 
I really need to put down some more transparent spots just so that they don't spread. So here we are with the picnic blanket using my normal tassel edge. And then I'm going in with blue check. Still love this one. It's not like a vibrant blue. It's kind of muted, which I quite like. And then obviously kind of bluey items just to go on top. And I thought I would use the cheese. That's a lot of cheese for one picnic. But I love it. And just placing the ant down as well. I said this before in another video about when you're having a picnic and you've got that annoying bug that won't go away. So what do you do? You put glass over the top of it. And I love that the ant just runs around like crazy. It's really, really interesting. Just gonna pop down some flowers, just to add some decoration, mainly so that I can go and grab some more flowers. <laughs> just need to fill the area with flowers. I love doing that. My name is not Flares for, no, my name is Flares for a reason. <laughs> Gonna dot in some stone fencing as well just to break it up. I'm sorry Eric, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Okay, we're back with some more items and some more flowers again. I decided for this little spot here. I was looking through my inventory or my storage in my house and I actually had some mountain bikes so I thought it would be a nice little area. Obviously we can't have a car park so I thought we'd have a little bike park area. And obviously get a museum opening sign. I would have loved it in the blue but this was all that I had available at the time. So I'm going in with the gravel that I've used for the main plaza area and just extending it out here a little bit. And then I'm just going to use a rope fence at the back and then just put down the bikes. I just thought it was a nice little detail to add. There we go. Fang is looking super cute in his winter blue attire. suitably dressed for the weather I believe. Just finishing off the picnic area as well, just popping in some more items, got some cushions, a coffee cup and then really it's just a matter of decorating around, filling out the areas with lots of flowers and some natural items so I'll pop in some log stakes garden rocks, some fencing, I just love to mix it up, also some custom designs and bushes of course. I didn't have enough already planted so I remembered that I had some invite inventory that were just that I'd bought from Leaf. If you're like me, whenever Leaf arrives you have to buy something from him even if you don't need it. My storage is still full and I could still end up buying something from him. back again and this time we've got an inventory full of flowers obviously blue and white I do kind of I don't know because I've got four types of blue flowers but only three types of white ones I don't know whether maybe I should have used some lily I don't really like the lilies maybe the mums or something um but they weren't they're not quite as white as the rest of the flowers so that's kind of why I was put off using them I'm sure I've asked you before but let me know in the comments what your favorite hybrid flower is I'm really interested to know because there is so many 
and this is probably a good time to mention if you're still watching please remember to click that like button and subscribe if you're not already also we have a discord channel if you want to join and chat with like-minded people about animal crossing there's a whole bunch of friendly people there and they're really great to chat to and we have a whole variety of ages as well so if that's what's holding you back don't let it I'm just for now what I'm gonna do is just do a whole line of flowers and things along the front here I need to figure out a way to kind of transition it into the rest of my island you might be able to see some cliffs that are slightly not finished that's because I haven't finished them basically so I need to figure out what to do there I'm thinking behind the museum area I've built up quite a space of cliff just so that if I need to I can use it as part of my neighborhood okay the final thing to do as part of this build is just overlay our custom designs on this dirt path I nearly forgot about it um, but then I realized oh no I must do that as well and I could say oh no I'll do it later but I know that it'll just sit there and then it will just stare at me so I'm gonna do it not procrastinate about doing it I'm an awful at doing that just leaving things half finished I think once it's done once I'm done here we'll try and travel forward to find a day where it's sunny because it's a bit depressing looking at a build when it's raining and you can't really see it in its full glory just this tiny little bit to go there we go so I managed to find a day when it wasn't raining thankfully so here we are here is the finished area over to the left here is that gift shop that I mentioned we used the typewriter as the till I don't want these oranges <laughs> I need to also plant some saplings hence why um, I've just used fruit trees but it works and then we have the fountain as a focal point and then over to the right we have some fish just chilling in their tanks and then all the way over here we have the picnic area after a day touring the aquarium you can come out enjoy your lunch in the sun and then I've just got lots of flowers and trees around just to fill the area I'm quite happy with it I was a bit nervous about doing it um, mainly because as I said before it's quite out of my comfort zone to do something that's so symmetrical and kind of more kind of elegant I guess than what I'm used to normally it's very very natural so let me know what you think about it in the comments I would love to hear do, do you think it looks like an aquarium I kind of hope it does um yeah so let me know thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please remember to click that like button and hopefully we'll see you again soon for another video have a lovely day goodbye